Welcome to our topic, the employed warranty. I dare remember to subscribe to our channel in order not to miss any of our future videos. Introduction. Implied warranty. These are terms of less important in the sale of good contract, which breach of which does not uh, does not amount to total repudiation of a contract, but rather monetary damage. Breach of implied warranty is not as serious as compared to the breach of implied condition, since breach of implied condition amount to total repudiation of a contract or implied warranty breach. Remedy is the damage or compensation. Some of the implied warranties is quite position, where the buyer in possession of good is entitled to enjoy his good peace free without any unnecessary disturbance from the seller. If his right is violated, he can sue the seller. Another implied warranty is free. The goods should be free from charges and encumbrances. This means that goods sold to the buyer should not of be of benefit to another third party unless communicated to him when forming the contract. This states that the goods which are sold by the, by the seller should not be of any benefit to the third party unless communicated to him or her. For instance, if you go and lease a house, that house should not be of any benefit to a third party. For instance, trying to keep some luggage to strangers but you are not but is not communicated to you or you rinse a rad and that rad is given by the by the racer to the to another third party to pack his car or to dispose some waste but is but was not communicated to you before the acceptance of the contract. The merchantability contract quality the merchantability quality this means that goods sold to the buyer should be of merchantable quality and fitness. It does not apply to the to the buyer, if given a chance to examine the good and identify the defect, e.g. in the Morel versus Finch at Gibbon, which involve um, which involved the grass the grass of the grass which was bought with the wine, which injured the print foo, and then the defendant was liable to pay the print foo since the bottle of ginger wine was not of the much quality. Fitness quality. This means that goods sold to the buyer by seller through recommendation should meet the expectation which the buyer explained to the seller, e.g. through the case between pre versus cast where the defendant where the defendant was the seller who sold a bottle of a bottle of a bottle to the print food and that bottle was specified to, to withhold hot water but not boiling water but accidentally the print foo put, um, put the boiling water in the bottle and that bottle busted and injured his wife therefore the seller was liable to the print foo since he sold the good with the concerns or the knowledge about the fitness of the commodity thank you for watching please remember to subscribe for the, for our to our channel in order not to miss the our future videos thank you